How's it going guys? Anxious Cynic back again with another Minimator tip. So this is a question I've gotten sometime in the past, but I never really addressed it in its own video. So I figured I'd go ahead and throw it out as a little tip to you guys. I'm sure a lot of you already know this already, but for those of you who don't, there's different types of bending that you can get in Minimator. So if you look at this by default, Minimator probably looks something like this, where you get these sharp bends on uh, Steve's arms there. So you got this just kind of square elbow and sometimes you want it to be smooth, kind of rounded looking or whatever. So what we can do, uh, there's a couple of things we can change here in order to make that happen. So first of all, we can go into the graphics of our character with him selected and we're gonna go to round bending and you can enable that. And as you can see there, it automatically goes ahead and makes it round. But you also can adjust just how round it looks. So if you go up here to your cog and open up your settings, then under settings, we're going to go to graphics. And then we have a default bending sharp to round. So by default, I'm pretty sure Minimator actually comes with sharp ticked. And as it is, I have it enabled still. Uh, but you can make this round so that whenever you start Minimator, it will always default to round bending rather than sharp. In any case, uh, that's up to you if you want it to start with or without sharp bending. Uh, but you have the bending detail here, and this is what controls just how smooth your bend is. If you notice when I bring it down to one, it looks uh, rather odd. And when I bring it to two, it's got that look to it, three, four, and five, and so on. For me, I generally found that five probably works well enough, but it really depends on what you want. So uh, that's how you can do that. By default, it is probably going to be set to three for you. So uh, yeah, five or six is usually pretty good in my opinion, as you can see there. It looks pretty dang old round to me. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all you would have to do. And uh, yeah, uh, just as a clarification though, when you have this set to round as default bending, then that's going to make it so this is ticked for every character that comes in, I'm pretty sure. So uh, what we'll do to test that, we'll go ahead and bring in, let's just say a zombie and bring him over. Why is he being uncooperative here? Let's go ahead and drag the zombie over, all right. And if we bend his arm, as you can see, he already had round bending enabled. So that's what turning it on and off by default does. And uh, it should carry over every time you open up Minimator. That default should remain the same. And you may be wondering what bending scale is. Uh, I personally haven't really found much of a use for this, but what it does is changes the scale, I think, of objects when they're bent. So if I, let me see what happens here if I turn that off. So as you can see there, the zombies, let's actually use Steve. Let's get rid of the zombie, you're ugly. All right, so uh, if we use Steve here, as you can see, that looks really weird. I don't really know if there's much of a use for that. But if I straighten it out, it gets small again. And then when I bend it, it's big again. Uh, I'm sure there's probably some clever way to use that. I've never really messed with it much myself, but it's there if you want to play with it and stuff. So that's going to be it for me, guys. I hope this tip was helpful to you. Hope you learned something. If you did, feel free to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe to become a citizen today. Share it with your friends and your family and your pets, and I will see you guys in the next video.